Chelsea Bean, and this is my colleague Jackie Marks, and we are global health policy students at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. Both Chelsea and I are deeply interested in maternal health challenges around the world and are energized by the opportunity to compete in a challenge that focuses on improving international maternal health. I have conducted extensive public health research in Africa, and Jackie will be working in the Reproductive Health Department at the WHO this summer. Our credentials, but more importantly our passion, make us the perfect duo to attempt to solve one of the world's greatest maternal health challenges, obstetric fistulas. This is Hamila, who was 14 when she became pregnant after an arranged marriage. After four days of painful labor, Hamila gave birth to a stillborn child and was left with an obstetric fistula. Each year, 100,000 women like Hamila are affected by this condition. According to the organization End Fistula, an obstetric fistula is an injury of childbearing that is caused by several days of obstructed labor without timely medical intervention. The consequences of fistula are life-shattering. The baby usually dies and the woman is left with chronic incontinence due to a hole in her birth canal. She is often abandoned or neglected by her husband and family and ostracized by her community. Without treatment, her prospects for work and family life are greatly diminished and she is often left to rely on charity. One of the major causes of obstetric fistulas is obstructed labor. Many women who suffer from obstetric fistulas are living in very rural areas, have an obstructed or prolonged birth, and do not have access to medical care, and therefore do not go to a medical clinic when there is an obstetrical emergency. Each year, 100,000 new obstetric fistula cases occur worldwide, while zero occur in the U.S. Clearly, this is a preventable condition. The best way to prevent an obstetric fistula is to reduce the amount of time of obstructive labor, which is precisely what our proposal, Mobile for Mothers, attempts to do in Malawi, one of the countries with the highest rate of obstetric fistulas in the world. It's as easy as this. Mobile for Mothers is a specialized cell phone application that tracks patients throughout their pregnancy using text messages as the primary means of communication. Our application will provide expecting mothers with valuable prenatal advice and will allow mothers to text in when their labor commences. After 24 hours of labor, the system will automatically alert local health workers that a prolonged and possibly obstructed labor is in progress. After 24 hours and at this point, the midwife will be sent to assist in the event of the complicated delivery in an effort to save the life of the mother and unborn child. Let's use Hamila as an example again. Had Hamila had been able to access the Mobile for Mothers program, she would have gone to her local clinic at the beginning of her pregnancy and registered with Mobile for Mothers. By registering with our application, she would have received a complimentary rental cell phone for the duration of her pregnancy and have provided us with valuable information on her health status, which would aid us in tracking her throughout her gestational period. Up until Hamila went into labor, she would receive periodic text messages with health and pregnancy advice. Hamila or one of her family members would have texted mobiles from mothers indicating when Hamila went into labor. In return, a live person would text her phone back to retrieve live critical health information such as timing of contractions and the progress of the labor. The attendants at mobiles for mothers would track her labor closely. In the event that the labor exceeds 24 hours, mobiles for mothers would send a trained midwife by motorcycle ambulance to aid Hamila through the rest of her delivery. The midwife would be able to safely and professionally deliver the baby and attempt to prevent any further complications. If Hamila's labor resulted in an obstetric fistula, the midwife would also be able to conduct corrective surgery at her home. If the labor was deemed to be too dangerous, the midwife would have transported Hamila to the clinic in a motorcycle ambulance. Our application, Mobiles for Mothers, serves as an emergency management and educational tool for mothers at risk for obstructed, prolonged labor and obstetric fistulas. Sounds great in theory, right? Well, here's how we're going to make it happen. We've chosen the Machinga District in the southern region of Malawi for our pilot project. We chose this district because it has the hospital and cell phone infrastructure in place, as well as a demonstrated need. Machinga has a district hospital and between 50 and 100 trained nurses, approximately 50% of which are trained midwives. This community is also served by the TNM and Airtel cell phone service providers. Here's where you come in. The generous award of $10,000 will easily cover the expenses necessary to implement the pilot project. Our expected costs include fair wages for health workers, the purchase of two used motorcycle ambulances and additional health equipment, as well as data management software. We thank you for considering our proposal, Mobiles for Mothers. Not only will Mobiles for Mothers protect women's health, it will solidify and restore their confidence. No woman should live with the shame and embarrassment caused by obstetric fistulas.